Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to our special Butterstash.com series on Picasso 101 Basic Studies. In this segment, we're going to look at name tagging. Now, this to me is just fascinating. When you first install Picasso and load your photos, it scans through your photos and identifies faces. So you see, this whole folder is called unnamed. So this is Randy. I'm going to type Randy in here. Press enter. You see, he's already got 20 photos in Picasso. I'll choose that and it's going to find more pictures of Randy. Now look over here already. It has these pictures. It has a question mark because it wants me to confirm. Are all these pictures pictures of Randy? Well, they are. So I'll say confirm all. So now Picasso knows that that's Randy and it's going through and confirming all. I can go here and here is my granddaughter Kalia. She's a new person. I'll say OK. And it will go through and it will add pictures that it believes are Kalia. And you see, as it finds them, it takes them out of the list. So gradually, this list now is below 1,000. Here's Kalia, nine pictures. Here's her mother, my daughter, Milena. Oops, she won't forgive me if I spell her name wrong. Milena, she's a new person. I'll say OK. And so gradually, as you go through, here again, it wants you to confirm that the people it picks are actually the people you say they are. So confirm all. It will go through and then confirm that all those pictures are pictures of her. And then you can go back in. So in your albums, you can name people. So in this way, gradually, Picasso begins to learn exactly who is who. By new person, it means that they haven't had their name categorized yet. Because it goes through and identifies all the people, finds their faces. If you find people you don't know or it's from an album cover, you can click that and it'll ignore that person. So very, very cool. Name tagging in Picasso. Keep in mind this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all the parts. Thank you.